Kumusta kayo? Ako si Raymond. Hello everyone! I'm Raymond and welcome to my channel. Our lesson for today or ang ating paksa is all about Tagalog pronunciation. Why is it that there is a need for us to know the correct pronunciation in Tagalog? The first reason here is that it helps distinguish words from one another. Aside from that, it also helps you understand what you hear and also people will understand you better. Before that, let us have the following terms. The first one is alpabeto. Al pa be to. Alpabeto. Alpabeto. When we say alpabeto in English, that is alphabet. Another one is we have the word by bayin. By bayin. By ba yin. By bayin. By bayin. When we say by bayin in English, that is syllabication. Let us have our Tagalog vowels. But be sure to note that Tagalog is a phonetic language where each letter has only one sound. We have A, A, E, 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 O, O, and U, U, A, E, E, O, U. A is pronounced as in the word art. E is pronounced like the E in the word end. And E is pronounced like the E in the word igloo. While the O is pronounced as the O in the word ostrich. And the U is pronounced as the U in the word shun. Again, a, e, e, o, u. A, e, e, o, u. Now, it's your turn to read. Ready? Start. Mahusay. Now, let us practice our vowels. Aso, a, so, aso, aso, aso. Next is pa, a, pa, a, pa, a, pa, a. We also have e log, e log, e log, e log, e log. Next is ubas, ubas, u. Bas, ubas, ubas. We also have elepante, elepante, e le pan te, elepante, elepante. Next is umaga, 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 u ma ga, umaga, umaga. Again, let us read. Aso, paa, ilog, ubas, elepante, umaga. Aso, paa, ilog, elepante, ubas, and umaga. Now it's your turn to read. Mahusay. Another thing to note is that you have to pronounce every letter even if they are repeated, making sure that each syllable is defined. When a word has multiple vowels, pronounce each letter separately. The first one, example, we have maalaala, maalaala, maalaala. Ma a la a la ma a la a la ma a la a la. Next is pakiusap, 
Paki usap. Pa ki u sap. Paki usap. Paki usap. We also have u ulit. U ulit. U u lit. U ulit. And lastly, we have e e sip. E e sip. E e sip. E e sip. Again, maala ala. Paki usap. U ulit. E e sip. Maala ala. Paki usap. U ulit. E e sip. Now it's your turn to read. Ready? Start. Next is we have our long vowels. Example, we have Tagalog. Ta-ga-log. Tagalog. 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 Next is Meron, 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 meron. We also have adobo, 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 and ngipin, 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 ngipin. Again, we have Tagalog. Meron, adobo, ngipin. Tagalog, meron, adobo, ngipin. Now, it's your turn to read. Ready? Start. Magaling. Let us proceed to the when pronouncing Tagalog words, we have to be particular if it has a long vowel or no, because it changes the meaning of a word. We have here buhay, buhay, buhay. When we say buhay, that's life, buhay. We also have the word buhay. When we say buhay, that is alive, buhay, buhay, buhay. We also have another one, hapon. When we say hapon, that's afternoon, like magandang hapon. Hapon, hapon. We also have the word hapon. When we say hapon, that means Japanese. Ang kaniyang kaibigan ay isang hapon. His or her friend is a Japanese. Hapon. Again, let's read. Buhay, buhay. Buhay, buhay. Next is hapon, hapon. Next, hapon, hapon. Buhay, buhay. Hapon, hapon. Now, it's your turn to read. Handa, start. Next, we have the consonants P, T, and K. Pronounce the sound without the puff of air coming from your mouth. This is what we are going to remember when we are pronouncing the consonants P, T, and K. We have here P as in part, P as in part, T as in star, star, and we have K as in the C in care, care. We have here some examples. Pangit, 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 pangit. Next is payat, payat, pa, yat, payat, payat. We also have pito, pito, pito. Pito, pito. Next is payong, payong, pa, yong, payong, payong. Pera, pera, pe, ra, pera. Next is tanong, tanong, ta, nong, tanong. 
tanong. Let's read again. Panget, payat, pito, payong, pera, tanong. Panget, payat, pito, payong, pera, tanong. Now it's your turn to read. Ready? Start. Mahusay. Very good. Let us have some more examples. We have the word too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Next is tasa. Tasa. Ta. Sa. Tasa. We also have the word tala. Tala. Ta. La. Tala. Tala. Next is Takot, takot, ta, kot, takot. We also have tindahan, tindahan, tin, da, han, tindahan, tindahan. We also have kanan, kanan, ka, nan, kanan. Let us all read again. Tubig, tasa, tala. Takot, tindahan, kanan, tubig, tasa, tala, takot, tindahan, kanan. Now, it's your turn to read. Ready? Start. We also have the consonant NG. NG as pronounced in the word long ago. Long ago. We also have the NG in the words sing along, sing along, and another one ringing, ringing. Let us practice saying the consonant NG. We have nga, nga, nga. Nga, nge, 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 and ni, 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 ni. We also have ngo, 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 and ngu, 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 ngu. Again, let's read. We have nga, nge. Ni, ngo, ngu. Again, nga, nge, ni, ngo, ngu. Nga, nge, ni, ngo, ngu. Nga, nge, ni, ngo, ngu. Now, it's your turn to read. Ready? Start. Magaling. Very good. Let us practice our consonant NG. Nga. 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 Ngayon. Nga. Yon. Ngayon. Ngayon. Next is Ngiti. Ngiti. Ngi. Ti. Ngiti. We also have Ngunit. Ngunit, ngu, nit, ngunit. Next is ngipin, ngipin, ngi, pin, ngipin. We also have sanga, sa, nga, sanga, sanga, sanga. Let's all read again. Nga, nga, ngayon, ngayon, ngiti, ngiti. Ngunit, ngunit, ngipin, ngipin, sanga, sanga. Now, it's your turn to read. Ready? Start. Another example, we have pangalan, pangalan, pa, Nga, 
lan pangalan pangalan next is pangako pangako pa nga ko pangako we also have kalinga ka li nga kalinga next is linggo 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 sunod next we have pinggan pinggan ping gan pinggan pinggan next is langgam langgam lang gam langgam again let's read pangalan pangalan pangako pangako kalinga kalinga linggo linggo pinggan pinggan langgam langgam now it's your turn to read ready start mahusay very good let us practice reading the sample sentences the first one we have Eto ang bahay ng pamilya ko. Eto ang bahay ng pamilya ko. Eto ang bahay ng pamilya ko. Next is, kumain ang bata ng tanghalian. Kumain ang bata ng tanghalian. Kumain ang bata ng tanghalian. Last we have, Bumili siya ng mga gamit. Bumili siya ng mga gamit. Bumili siya ng mga gamit. Again, let's read from the top. Eto ang bahay ng pamilya ko. Kumain ang bata ng tanghalian. Bumili siya ng mga gamit. That's all for today and I hope you learned something new. Once again, this is your Kuya Raymond. Maraming salamat po, paalam at ingat.